Point six following up after two dogs were killed at a local doggy daycare. Tonight, our Chris Holmstrom spoke with a former manager who says it was only a matter of time until something like this would happen. Come on, come on, girlie. It's animal lovers like Samantha Brewer. That was outrage when she found out two dogs were killed at the doggy B&B &B in Wilsonville. One of them, this 12-pound Havanese called Lily. It was sad and it was kind of unexpected because Mastiffs usually aren't known to be aggressive or anything like that. Samantha worked at the doggy daycare back in April. She says she was hired as the general manager. Like the second I went in there, I kind of had a bad feeling and he was like, well, you know, help us with, you know, policies and with safety regulations and everything. And while I was trying to, he was just kind of dismissing things. She says some of those recommendations include separating big and little dogs, having supervision during all play times, and installing new locking mechanisms. How would it be possible for these dogs to get out of the kennel and attack these two dogs? That the way that it was set up was the latching on the kennel for the big dogs, like in the playroom, it it would sit like this on a bar. And so if a dog hit its foot in between the it was a chain link fence. If their paw went through and they, they knocked it up, then the door would swing open. She says after one month, she had enough and quit. Yesterday, I tried speaking to the owner to get his side, but he declined. So I tried again today. I'm looking to speak with the owner. Is he available? He's not here today. Do you know how I can get a hold of him? About 20 minutes later, I got a phone call from the owner. He did not want to discuss the allegations, saying legal was involved. I just think he wasn't expecting something like this to happen, and with animals, you have to expect everything. I found out the owners of the dog that was killed are getting legal representation. I also spoke with the family's attorney. She tells me she's still in the early stages of the investigation. She's still waiting to hear back from the deputy that took the report, and she's also asking Doggy B&B &B to hand over all the evidence that shows what exactly happened on that tragic night. And of course, we'll let you know the latest. Reporting for Coin 6 News, I'm Chris Holmstrom.